Closing in on the end of our coverage here on TowsonTigers.com of signing day 2012, but not the end of the festivities by any means. Six o'clock tonight, Bill Bateman's Bistro. Football signing day celebration. Get to know a little bit more about this new class Mm -hmm. that the defensive coordinator of the Tigers, Matt Hackman, and the rest of the staff have brought in. And, And Matt, I guess the first question I wanted to ask you is just a little bit about Maybe how you attacked the defensive side of the ball on the on the recruiting tra- trail, and you know where you saw maybe the greatest need for for this incoming class. Well, I think the first area that needed to be addressed for us is uh, looking at the defensive line. When you look at what we've lost over the last two years, we lost three pretty good interior defensive linemen in uh, Yaki Abia, Marcus Valentine, and Robbie Osborne. And then looking forward to next year's graduation, we're going to lose three pretty good performers for us in Frank Beltre, Matt Morgan, and Ramel Tucker. So that's a pretty big gap, and what, that was one of the needs we need to address in this class this year, I believe. We got a total of five defensive linemen coming in between kids who are enrolled here now in the spring and kids who are coming to help us out in the fall. After that, again, when you look at our needs, the secondary needed to be addressed between the past two years. We graduated two this past year in Justin Harris and Nick Oates, and prior to that we had lost three guys. So. I believe at the end of the day we have uh, six guys in the back end that are going to be able to help us out. Now, from the things that you just described, if people didn't know better, they would say, all right, well, they're, they're just trying maybe to, to build some depth. But I know you as a staff, yourself, Coach Ambrose, everybody else on this staff regards this class as the best one that you guys have had here at Towson. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the way it should be. As you go through the recruiting process and you get better as a football team, and better as your football program, your next recruiting class should be better than the previous one. And when you look at this class, we have guys who are coming in who will be able to help us out immediately. We have some kids who have transferred in from other institutions that are enrolled right now that we're expecting to contribute early. And behind that, we have some pretty good young kids that are going to come in this fall, and it's yet to be determined who's going to help us early and who's not, but certainly some of these kids will have an opportunity to prove what they can do. When you do look at this class, the way it breaks down, and again, if you want to find out more about these kids individually, Bill Bateman's tonight, 6 p.m., football signing day. Uh, I don't want to say extravaganza, but, <laughs> but, 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 but in some ways it, it will be. It'll be a fun time for sure. But as a class, you, you mentioned how many transfers there are mm-hmm. um, in this class. And I don't know, I guess to the general fan maybe, and to me even, that seems unique. But not only do you have a lot of transfers in this class, these are guys that – that played at the other places they were at, and like you said, can probably make an impact pretty quick. One of the advantages you have at the FCF level, I mean, you are, you're handcuffed a little bit because you're only allowed 63 full scholarships. But one of the advantages you have is you can take a young man from a BCS institution and he can come in and help your program out right away. And we had a number of student athletes throughout the country from other institutions that were interested in coming here and we essentially selected the best ones from those institutions. So those guys who are transferring in are able to come in this spring, and you know they should be making a big impact for us this fall. Last thing I want to ask you is something that I asked Coach Ambrose earlier this morning, and that's about um, the freshmen that are in this class. Mm-hmm. Um, these are guys that you know have been targeted for you know a couple of years, h- however long it's been that you guys have been you know thinking or at least showing interest in some of these guys. They were interested in Towson before last season happened. But I was curious to know maybe how those guys reacted to the type of season that you had last year and maybe maybe the, the level of, or maybe a spike in interest when you guys went back out on the trail. Well, winning certainly helps everything. And like you said, the majority of the young people that we were involved with, we've been along with, involved with for a very, very long time. And the fact that we were able to do what we did this year as a program only helped us out in the recruiting process. And all these kids, you know, these are good football players. They're good kids. They're the type of guys that we're looking for. And um, these young kids will be able to come in this fall and help us out. Well, Matt, we really appreciate the time. Looking forward to knowing more about them individually a little bit later tonight. Now next, we're going to talk to the guy who's been hanging out at the fax machine all day long, the recruiting coordinator for Towson football, Reno Free. He's next here on TowsonTigers.com.